I know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out steam and how to search it. I can't tell you how many times I had trouble doing that before I used it 24-7. Sometimes just a little trick. Just one. This is usually the page they take you to. And this is where it can get confusing. Then you're looking over here on the left side to search for stuff. But then it takes you to like this. Just like relatively new stuff. So if you do end up here on any of those genres, go to narrow by tag and click something. Then you'll at least get here. Then you want to unclick those and you can search whatever you want right there under narrow by tag. Say you wanted FPS games, FPS, click, there you go. And you can sort it lowest to highest price, highest price, release date. Mm. But to avoid any of that, just treat this search store right here as a narrow by tag. Or if you're on that other page, or if you're right here, just click search the store. It'll take you right back there if you just want to do the narrow by tag. But if you wanted to, you could just click in FPS and search and then search. <clears throat> Which is what I mean. It's not complicating. <clears throat> but it can be if you're not thinking about it. And then you can also do your multiple, you know, FPS or now you got FPS horror game, sort lowest price. There's 14 FPS horror games. You'd think there'd be more. Blood and bacon, that's horror. <laughs> I don't know about that. So that's what I recommend doing. Search the tags you like and then go through all the cheap games. Sometimes you'll have to scroll down 10 or 15 pages to find the ones that are 50 cents because there's so many free games. Also go through the popular ones. Find a game that looks really fun. You'll be surprised how many you don't know about. Add it to your wish list. Here's Wolfenstein Youngblood. So if you wanted that, click on it. Add to your wish list right there, the bottom left. I'm gonna add it to my wish list. Any of these new games I'm going to add to my wish list. Why? Because a lot of the time they go on sale for like three bucks. Look at Tomb Raider. Just Cause 3. Yeah, it might be three years down the road or whatever. That's three dollars. All these games still have good graphics. Still can kill a bunch of time. That's why Steam is amazing. And so what adding it to your wish list does is they email you when it goes on sale. Probably exaggerating on the three years, four years, man. A lot of these games just don't get bought because there's so much competition with Steam. There's so many different, you got Origin, you got Epic Games, you got console players, all this. Like, they can't afford to have their game $60. They got to put it on sale to advertise it every once in a while. That's why it's important to have it on your wish list. That way you get it at a discounted price. Playing Tomb Raider for $3 compared to $60, a huge difference. That is how you take advantage of Steam.